I was happy with how the character moved so I wanted to create an inverse kinematic that just pulls the feet up if they sink underground. So I've noticed that there isn't great inverse kinematic tutorials out there, or at least from what I've looked through. So I decided today to take a deep dive, focus in on one specific detail, and that is foot placement. Wow. I've always wanted to learn how to make accurate foot placement and other small details. That's why I'm starting this series called Focusing on Details. Fitting name, I know. So let's go through my process of how I got to my end result. So jumping into the Unity editor, I started with a simple player model. Scratch that, this one didn't have an avatar rigged up, so I got a new one from the the Unity Asset Store. This one looks much better anyways. At first I wanted to use the animation rigging package that Unity comes with, but then I realized I wanted something more fine-tuned, so I decided to code the inverse kinematics myself. So let me give you the rundown of what's happening in this code I whipped up. So we're getting the position a little bit above the left foot and casting a ray straight down. If it hits a walkable surface like the ground, it'll get the position of where the ray cast hit and set it to the left foot. And then for the rotation, we're using look rotation, which will create a rotation from the forward and upwards directions. And in this case, we're using the hit.normal, which will be the up direction. Do the same thing for the other foot, and we get a pretty convincing foot placement system. To you, it might look like we're done, but that's why we're focusing on the details. So if we look carefully and we move the sphere from the front of the player to the back, you can see that the foot clips into the sphere multiple times, and it actually doesn't pivot in that direction. But we don't have to go back to the drawing board completely. Just by simply changing the quaternion.look rotation into quaternion.from2 rotation, we can get the desired result we want. But that doesn't stop the toe clipping issue. So to fix that, we're going to create two rays, one going down from the heel and the toe. The two points that it hits, we will connect it with the vector, and then set the rotation to that vector. And we'll combine that with the look rotation to see what happens. This is working great, and this system's already working pretty well with cubes too. Speaking of cubes, let's see how the player does walking up a staircase. To do that, I made a simple player controller script, imported a walking animation, and glamoured up the scene a bit. So let's see. Honestly, it's not that bad. In hindsight, I should have made the steps a little bit wider because the player speed makes it so he's walking up multiple steps at once, but it's okay. While researching for this topic, I came across this Reddit post. It addresses an issue I didn't think about, that being when the player isn't moving and is standing between two slightly different height surfaces, and the foot can't pick between the two surfaces. So I tried recreating this in my project, and what do you know, I have the same issue. I fixed this by freezing the animation when the player isn't moving, and that works pretty well. Next, I decided to add some new terrain. I know rigid cubes are having a little bit of a problem, so let's see how it works with this. Yeah, so that's not right. The foot is going through the object because the heel to toe ray is still pointing down to where it is, but it doesn't check if there's a collider between those two points. So we need to check if the points have a collision between them, and if so, point the foot in another direction. To get that other direction, I just made a new ray closer to the heel of the foot, and then connected the heel point to the new point. And finally, here's the result. You know what? At the end of this journey, inverse kinematics aren't too hard. As someone who didn't know much about procedural animation, I'm glad I took a step back from rushing through games to focusing on the details. If you want me to continue this series, let me know by hitting the like button down below. I know the final result isn't perfect, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.